being as a Buddhist practitioner, comes down to inward-looking individual. In Tibetan terms, we call it Nangba. Nangba means the one that who looks inwardly. Tashidele, welcome to Wisdom Academy. In this very moment, I want to say thank you very much to the Wisdom Publication and the Wisdom Academy for inviting me over here to share my experience in this platform. I'm happy to share with you this Niguma teaching. The Niguma's teachings are very vast. It has many volumes. But most importantly, it has the five jewels of Niguma. Out of the five jewels, there is a foundation of the Niguma teaching, which is the six yogas of Niguma, and the Mahamudra teachings from Niguma, and then the three kayas, inseparable practice of Niguma, red dakini and white dakini of Niguma, and the timeless practice as well. Imagine that if you can just simply reflect in one's own self, imagine how much you can achieve. You see, even you don't have awareness, you can do the most impossible things for your parents, for your children, and for the people you love. So if that can be achieved without any sense of awareness, imagine what you can achieve with a sense of awareness, sense of truly reflecting in oneself. When you have that awareness and understanding of the self-fixation, you understand the cause of suffering, the illusion of oneself. Then when you reflect like that, you can see the cause of suffering, the reality of the suffering naturally. Therefore, I share with you one of the few important practice, preliminary stage of the Niguma, which is a refuge and the purification practice, not based on the Vajrasattva, but based on the empty R, combining your mind and your guru state of mind inseparably together and meditating in that state. That is a purification practice, followed by illusionary body and mind and the bardo practice. So if you practice the illusionary body and mind, it brings less fixation and more understanding about the dream yoga. Thank you very much to the Wisdom Academy for making this possible. And thank you for showing your dedication and devotion to the Dharma.